You're listening to One on One from the NetProdigy.com studios. Joining me from the YMCA, Eric Kress. He is uh, executive director, and you're from the Waukee Y, correct? That's right. And uh, you're, we're going to talk a little bit about a lot of the youth programs that uh, the Y does, which there are a ton of them, and those happen year-round. I know a lot of people, I've got friends that uh, take part with the uh, youth summer camps, those day camps that happen week long. So, you know, throughout the summer, you can always find out more information and there's always spots available because those have happened at each of the different Ys in the area. Yeah, correct. It's really exciting time for youth work in the YMCA and uh, kids these days are facing a lot of challenges, challenges in forming relationships, challenges of staying active, challenges, challenges of feeling that they belong. And uh, YMCA youth programs, I think, do a great job of, uh, of focusing in on helping nurture the potential of every child. Um, through our programs. That's that's really what we're about. Um, if, with our day camps, you know, we really try to infuse really in all of our programs belonging, achievement, and relationships. And so uh, programs like camp and swim lessons and youth sports and those, those great things that we talk about that you can do on a year-round basis at the Y, um, our real end result is that we help kids find a sense of those of those competencies. And that's one thing to really remember, because I've got some friends, and I, in fact, I know I have a friend that sits on the board of the Southside Y, and that is, a lot of times, you, when you think about the Y when it comes to the kids, it's the summer programs, it's the day camps, it's the swim lessons, but it really is year-round, because uh, I know someone else who works with the, the, was it the flag football program that you guys do in the fall? Yeah, we do flag football in the fall, and um, in some locations, volleyball, mm-hmm. basketball leagues are thriving through the winter. Um, so just great opportunities, again, for kids to like really be a part of a team, uh, know what it's like to, to work with others, um, to achieve new goals as mm-hmm. the season goes on and develop confidence, you know, because if you can get in, uh, be a productive part of a team, you can someday be a productive part of a classroom and a productive part of a workforce. And um, as you build confidence from maybe I uh, started a season off and I don't know how to dribble. And I, I was going to say, on, I'm know, sure there's a little bit of fundamental piece into that, too. So when you're doing the basketball, the flag football, so especially starting at the younger ages as they they're making their way up through school on if they're going to get on the basketball team or the football team as you know they get older. You bet, and then, and definitely uh, exposure into some of these programs can transcend into excellence for some of the kids. But for other kids, it's just hey, I can be okay and uh, emerge from a new environment, um, okay and well, and that'll uh, let me in life later on have the opportunity that I'll try something new because we're constantly as adults throwing new things at us all the time Mm -hmm. and uh, even as adults we're nervous so if a kid can never play a basketball team before jump in there do their best and feel embraced and supported by that and that hey even though maybe I'm never going to be on the uh, varsity team um, I still had a positive experience and I and now I have confidence to try new things in the future that transcends into life success. Oh, absolutely. I mean, in fact, I even have adult friends are going, where are those programs for us? <laughs> yeah, yeah, right, right. <laughs> you know, I mean, uh, I mean but, uh, you know, there, there is just so many opportunities for, for kids at the Y year round. Again, not just in the summer, but the, so many things that they can do between all those uh, the different pieces. And I know each Y has even other opportunities that uh, they do with the youth, not just with the, the flag football or the swim lessons or the day camps. But I know each Y kind of creates their own activities. Activities a little bit. Yeah, I think that's one of the really unique aspects of the YMCA movement. And, uh, uh, you know, we have a kind of a broader consistency and reach and, and uh, you know, focus that we're about. But we find ways to make it relevant at the local level. And so we take, uh, we take you know, needs that maybe in our some of our sub-communities. I think about uh, the John R. Grubb YMCA runs a summer literacy program targeting uh, low-income youth. And that's a community need and something that they're saying that, you know, this is something we want to be about mm. to meet the needs of our local community. In Waukee, we do a lot of things targeting young families um, because it's a dem- demographic of our community. Um, a lot of things to help new families get connected to other families because it's uh, very um, say transient or a lot of newcomers coming into our community. So, uh, we, yeah, we try to, you know, each branch does have their unique offerings to really embrace the uh, community around the, our facilities. So if they want to get more details about the YMCA or even to maybe even get in to the, the general website and then branch off into the different um, Ys to find out maybe what their neighborhood Y or a different one on the other side of town is offering, How wh- wh- where can they do that? Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of ways you can interact with us. And, of course, there's websites, uh, mm-hmm. dmymc.org. There's a Twitter handle, you know, Facebook. But you know what? We're people people in relationships. Come into one of our buildings, stop in, 
chat with some people, get to know and see the things that are happening in and around our facilities. And I think that's the best way to really get a feel for what the YMCA has to offer. Because behind uh, you know, all of those programs and classes and things that we do, you're going to find just good people that want to help you. And I think the best way to interact and get involved is just to you know, come face to face and have a discussion with us. Absolutely. Eric, thank you very much for spending time with us this morning. I appreciate it. Thank you. Eric Kress with YMCA Executive Director from the Waukee YMCA, but there's uh, so many locations that you can always check out with the, the, the newest one down in Indianola. Of course, you got the South Side, you got Walnut Creek, they're in Ankeny, uh, just everywhere. So just uh, get a hold of them and you can ask them all those questions. Eric, thanks for coming in today. Thanks for having me. You've been listening to One on One from the DebtProdigy.com studios.